back. Welcome back. Very big announcement this week. It even brought the president to town. Taiwan Semiconductor saying they are more than doubling their investment in Arizona, building now a second chip plant in North Phoenix. It's a total investment of $40 billion. It's the biggest foreign investment ever in our state. And joining us now is a woman who had a big role in negotiations, uh, Sandra Watson, president and CEO of the Arizona Commerce Authority. Sandra, good to see you. Good to see you, Congratulations. Ty. Thank you. Uh, so take us back to the very beginning, because you were here at the very inception of this. Did they reach out to us, Taiwan Semiconductor, or did we reach out to them? Well, actually, in 2013, Governor Brewer and I I had a trip to Taiwan and we met with TSMC and their executives to talk about Arizona and the opportunities that may present in the future. At the time, they didn't have a project specifically dedicated to the U.S., but we wanted to make sure we were establishing a good relationship mm -hmm. with them. So it's just going out there and saying, hey, here's, here's who we are, and if you're thinking about coming to the U.S., we're a pretty good place. Absolutely. Wow. And the fact that we have a very robust semiconductor industry in Arizona with Intel, with Intel yeah. and several other companies that are here, we we felt that Arizona was going to be very competitive if, in fact, they were going to establish something in the U.S. So it takes a while for a company to decide they're going to drop even $12 billion, right. which you know, is a huge investment as well, but let alone $40 billion. So what happened between 2013 and 2017? Yes, so uh, we were developing a relationship with uh, TSMC, providing them with information on Arizona, our value proposition, how competitive Arizona is. And in 2017, they decided to come out and take a look. Wow. At that time, they met with Governor Ducey, and uh, we showed them around the state and, um, and shared some information about how competitive we are. At that time, uh, they were evaluating potentially an opportunity, but um, it wasn't until 2019 where we still really developed a stronger relationship with them. And then, of course, they made their announcement in 2020. Wow. Did you actually take them up and show them that site in North Phoenix? Or how did that, how did that even work? Well, we actually showed them several sites. And we showed them the val valley and talked to various suppliers. So we actually did a very statewide search for wow. this new facility. And at that point, did you even dream, I mean, let alone the one fab plant, which is great, did you even dream that we'd have the most sophisticated <laughs> chip fabrication plant in the whole country at the end it, of this thing? It's incredible. I mean, the announcement on Tuesday, having the president out here, and all of the major CEOs from global companies here to celebrate the tool and ceremony was just incredible. Mm -hmm. So we're excited because Arizona truly is the epicenter of the semiconductor industry for the nation. You know, I looked down at that Intel plant and, it, you know, that's growing as well. There's another huge investment down there. And, and what it did to that Chandler area and Ahwatukee and Ocotillo. And I wonder if, if Ahwatukee and Ocotillo would even exist in their current forms without that plant. Do you see something like that happening up in the North Valley now? Absolutely. A major employment center. So with Intel, uh, or with uh, TSMC as the anchor, uh, there will be lots of commercial activity, suppliers, as well as a lot of residential being built up around that area. Mm. So 10 years from now, I mean, are we going to continue to grab companies like this? Is this the, the crowning mm -hmm. achievement? Or do you see us becoming literally like another Silicon Valley in a way? Oh, absolutely. We have so many companies in our pipeline currently. We're well. working with a number of companies within the semiconductor industry, as well as the automotive industry, battery manufacturing. We actually, in fact, had two announcements in Tucson around the battery manufacturing. Wow. So there's a lot of activity. Arizona is really becoming a, a center of excellence for advanced manufacturing, and we'll continue to see the semiconductor industry grow here in Arizona. What was it like yesterday after that whole... Uh, you know, the president's here and it's the, it's the announcements made. Do you have, is it a real sense of satisfaction? You've got to be pretty dang happy. Oh, right? absolutely. The entire team that worked on this, uh, from obviously the governor and his leadership, the work that our team did in, in partnership with the city of Phoenix, GPEC, so many partners came together. Really a strong team effort. Our senators were very engaged as well. So it was just an incredible opportunity for Arizona and an exciting day. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. So great. And, you know, you've served through governors from Fife Symington all the way through. And Correct. you say you've already talked to the governor-elect and you feel like you feel pretty solid in the gig, right? Absolutely. I'm very <laughs> excited to be working uh, with the new governor. All right. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. All right. And we'll be right back. Stay with us. Yeah, good story.